Welcome to St. Peter Cathedral. We are glad to announce that starting Monday, June 1st, public masses will resume. And we've heard a lot of people express appreciation for that, and we're all excited to get back. But there are certain things that we need to know and do in order for this to be a safe experience. First of all, we may say to ourselves, who should come to Mass? If we are up in age, if we have pre-existing health conditions, please don't come. We will still live stream Masses daily. Weekday Masses will be live streamed at 12.10. Weekend Masses, Saturday 4 p.m., Sunday morning 8.30 a.m. So we will continue to live stream Masses. So if you have health conditions, if you're up in age, don't put yourself at risk, okay? Again, our Mass schedule will be our usual Mass schedule, Monday through Friday, 6.30, 12.10, 5.15. Monday through Friday, we will have confessions from 4.30 to 5. Saturday morning, Mass at 8 o'clock, confessions at 3 to 3.45, and the Vigil Mass, 4 o'clock. Sunday Masses, which will begin June, I'm trying to think of the date, 6th and 7th, Saturday and Sunday. On Sunday, they will be 6.30, 8.30, and 11. So that is, we resume our mass schedule beginning this Monday, June 1st. Also, just a little bit about the procedure when you come to mass. When you come into the cathedral, no matter what entrance you come to, there's a sign that says, please sanitize your hands before entering. And we have hand sanitizers in bottles at each of the entrance. And it's important that you sanitize your hands before coming in. Again, we want to make sure that no one is infected. So if there's any kind of germs or virus on your hands, we want to take care of that right away. When you come into the cathedral, you will notice that there's limited seating. It's every third pew. So there are pews that are blocked off with blue tape. That's to keep the social distancing in between all of us. So you are able to sit where their pew or chair isn't blocked off. Also, we have chairs spread out six feet apart from each other. A good rule of thumb is, no matter what's going on, remain socially distant from the other parishioners. If that means when you're coming into church, you see someone coming, stay six feet away, okay? You may want to stand there and talk to them, but it's not prudent at this point. Also, when you come in, you need to have a mask on, all righty? We don't want to be spreading the virus. They've, no one likes to wear a mask, but use it as an act of penance, humility, that we're wearing a mask for, to help protect other people. Okay, so you come in, sanitize your hands with your mask on, go to a pew that isn't blocked off by blue tape. Then mass will go on, begin as usual. You'll notice there are no hymnals in the pews. There are no pew cards. Again, we don't want anything that may contain the virus. Mass will go on as usual. When it comes time for communion, and this is important, you need to sanitize your hands. You need to bring with you sanitizer so you can discreetly, right before Holy Communion, sanitize your hands. The priest will sanitize his, but I don't want your virus either. If you have germs or bacteria on your hands, I don't want them. So you sanitize your hands, I'll sanitize mine. And then communion, as usual, you come up, they'll be, we'll give you instructions, there'll be single file lines, but you need to stay six feet away from the person in front of you. You keep your mask on, you come up, and you flatly hold out your hands. Don't try to cup, don't try to grab, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna touch, make the priest touch your hand, the priest's gonna have to stop giving out communion, go sanitize his hands and come back, 
Alrighty? So you come with mask on, hands flat, the body of Christ, the priest will put the host in your hands, not touching your hands, then you move to the side, remove the mask, and consume the host. Put the mask back on and go back to your pew. And again, as we're going back and forth from communion, it's important that we keep the social distance, that we keep six feet away from each other. Go back to your pew, mass will end, and when mass ends, we ask you again to remember, keep social distancing. You know, we're all gonna be tempted to wanna talk to our fellow parishioners, maybe who we haven't seen in eight to 11 weeks. But we're asking you when you leave, again, the spray bottles are at the exits to the church, sanitize your hands and leave. Go back to your cars. Don't stand in the back of church and talk. Don't stand outside and talk. Again, we want to get over this. We want the virus to go away. And the only way we can stop the spread is if we keep the social distancing and the wearing of masks. And it may be odd or clumsy for a while, but it'll take us a few times to get used to it. So I'm asking your help in this. Also, people have asked about offertory, collection. We will not be taking collections up. We, rather, we will have on Saturday night and Sundays, offertory baskets at all the entrances to the church. And we just ask that you go in and just place your envelope or your offering in the basket that way no one's touching anything, just place it in there. Also, there will not be ushers. Ushers won't be handing out bulletins. There will be bulletins on the stand. If you want a bulletin, you take it with you. Also, if you take a bulletin into church with you, don't leave it on the pew. Take it home with you. Don't put it back on the bulletin stand. Again, we don't want to do anything that we may cause the spreading of the virus. So these are very simple things, but I would encourage you to go over them in your mind. And again, it's not only to help yourself, but to help your fellow parishioner and priests. None of us want to get sick, and this is a very serious matter. We're just happy we're be able to get back to church to receive the Eucharist. Also, if you come into church, and if you see that all the pews and the chairs are full, if there's six feet in the back of church when you're away from someone, you can stand there. But if there is no room for to be six feet away, we would ask you to come back to another Mass. I don't think we're gonna have that problem, but the rule of thumb is at all times to stay six feet away from others. If you come as a family, you're more than welcome to take one of the pews and sit together. But if you're not family members, you need to stay six feet away. Again, I hope this is helpful. It's gonna take us a while to get used to it. Be patient with us, we'll be patient with you, but it's exciting that we're able to start again, June 1st, the regular mass schedule here at the cathedral. So again, thank you for your patience and understanding. And thank you for your prayers. I know that all of the priests are praying for you, and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Maybe some one last question people may have. I'm a Eucharistic minister. I'm a lector. I'm an usher. I'm a cantor. Just at least for the next several weeks, we're going to keep it simple. The priests and deacons will do the readings. They'll distribute communion. So we don't want other people putting themselves at risk until we get into a rhythm and see how everything goes. So again, thank you very much for your patience and understanding. We're praying for you and we look forward to seeing you very soon.